God wants you to prosper, not somebody else, not someone down the street, but he wants you to prosper. He promises to be our exceeding great reward. God has a great plan for you. Third John, verse two, it says, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Hi, I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, and this is your truth for the week. The question today is how to be more grateful. Deuteronomy chapter number six, verse 12 says, be careful that you forget not the Lord that brought you out back then it was of Egypt. But what has he brought you out from? How to be more grateful is the subject for today. First thing, be conscious. It's a conscious decision to be grateful. In other words, you need to purpose in your heart that you're going to be grateful for the day. At the beginning of the day, you start off by saying, God, I am grateful for, as you wake up in the morning before you put your feet on the floor. And then when you get ready to get in bed at night, before you close your eyes, be thankful for the things that have already transpired throughout that day. Secondly, you can have a gratitude journal. Oh, sometimes we'll use it as a prayer log, but it's an opportunity to be grateful and to write down what you're grateful for. Here's the challenge. Don't write the same thing twice. There's always something to be grateful for. Life, health, and strength. Oh, we can count those off the list. Our family and friends, we can add those too. Grateful for the sky that we get to see every single day or the rainbow or a double rainbow if you saw that one too. Those things we can be grateful for. Every day, there is so much that God is providing for us that we can write and fill up a gratitude journal. So that's your challenge to go ahead and see how many you can write down. And every day, add something to it that is not the same as the days before. The third thing that we can do is be present in the moment. See, many times we're so busy that we forget to be present when someone's giving us a present, all right? We're grateful for the relationship. We're grateful for the connection. We're grateful for the people, even throwing, putting accolades our way or saying to us just how grateful they are of us. We can return that favor and be grateful for them. And we can do that only if we're present in the moment. And the last one that I will give you is we can participate. Participate in helping someone who is less fortunate than you. You'll figure out that you have so much more to be grateful for. So today, purpose to be grateful. Ponder what you're grateful for. Be present and then also participate. This is your truth for the week. Five minutes or less you then can apply what you have learned in the word. I'm helping you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of the week. Hey fam, thanks so much for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe, listen to the podcast, watch it on YouTube on Saturdays and have an absolutely fantastic rest of the week. Share this message with someone else so that you can pour them some tea so that they can then walk in victory. You can find us online at h the number two h truth.org. At Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, we're helping believers live an abundant life based on God's word, standing on his promises, walking out his principles, sharing with God's people, serving as unto the Lord.